What's up gamers? Today we're playing A Place Forbidden and no face cam today because this game does not like my face cam to be on at the same time as the game. Alright, let's start. The hell? Where am I? handle turns, but I can't open it. Greetings, visitor. You're more than welcome to sign your name and the date of your visit in this guest book. Once you've done that, we welcome you to explore the library to your heart's content, so long as it isn't after closing. Once you've had your fill, please let yourself out. You'll find a key to the front door on one of the desks in the study. And, um, I'm pretty fond of this game. It's a good horror game, if you could call it that. Greetings, visitor. We'd like to take a moment to tell you about our wonderful library. The Library of Ouroboros is a state-of-the-art facility designed to replicate the rural charm found in many older buildings without the associated risks such buildings are known to accumulate. The building might seem like a strange sight amongst Wall Street's many towering skyscrapers, but we believe this dichotomy will be what sets us apart. We're glad that you've decided to give us a chance, and hope that our stock of books will appeal to you. Obviously, our collection of information isn't so vast as to encapsulate the whole of the internet, but we hope that the charming aesthetic design of our library will help you escape from the hustle and bustle of New York life. If you hear any strange footsteps, don't worry. There may still be construction going on above or below you. From us all, thanks again. From all our staff, welcome! We're glad you're here. The library is located in a picturesque part of Britain, atop a grassy knoll east of Sussex. Many rural townships, obviously bereft of their own libraries, refer their villagers to the library. It is beloved by all. Here's our vast stock of fiction, nonfiction, poetry, and everything in between. Chat with friendly librarians and employees, and feel free to spend as long as you'd like just reading, using our computers, or just spending time here. We always love new visitors. Should you hear any odd knocking in the corners of the building, pay it no mind. The library is on the older side, and the foundation plays tricks on some visitors' minds. Don't worry, though. It's perfectly safe. Stuff. Last I remember, I was sitting at home, reading a letter from an old friend. But it's the strangest thing. Now I can't remember what it was about, or who it was that sent it. And we should probably check out this phone over here. Hello. Welcome to the Library of Ouroboros. We're glad that you've decided to visit our humble institution. Hopefully, you'll find what it is you're looking for. Please be informed that the library is closing. Since most of our staff are currently away, please lock the door on the way out. We hope you've enjoyed your visit. Thankfully, this game is not as loud as the last one because I actually turned the volume down. I remember to do that. Yay. Weird. Almost all the words are crossed out and the pages are stuck together. I can't open this any further. Peace be to you, friend. We're glad you've decided to join us. Despite its name, the library is open to people of all sorts of different faiths. With our vast tracts of religious knowledge, modern, old, and otherwise, we're certain you'll find the, pla the peace you seek. We know you've traveled far to arrive here, so please do rest. Keep an open mind, read to your heart's content, and we'll be sure you're well provided for. One matter of note, we ask you not to linger after closing or to descend too far into the library's bowels. Some of our books are quite old and very sensitive to the ingress of foreign temperatures and moistures. Thank you for understanding. Ouroboros, a circular symbol, the snake swallowing its tail, a representation of the endless cycle of death and rebirth, of wholeness, the infinite, and a certain kind of cloying meaninglessness. Never put much stock in mysticism, but in this pa place it's pasted all over the goddamn walls. Tough to avoid that. Last I remember, I was on some occult website, sitting on the farthest end of the internet, past the places that had normally dissuade the less curious. Had just a little too much time on my hands. 
I remember falling asleep. Now I'm here. The recording said that this place is the Library of Ouroboros. Remember reading something about that, but not what, or where. If you're reading this, keep an eye out. Something isn't right. V. Alright, V. I guess we'll just have to be careful then. Right now, we can just try to leave. And as you can see, that didn't work. This can't be right. Hello. We'd like to inform you that the library is now closed. Note that it is unlawful to remain on the premises after closing. This is your one, and only, warning. Alright, alright, I'll be leaving soon. But I do want to check out some more books. Oh, I can't. I can read this. A kind slumber. I've been driving for miles, and miles, and miles. It's night. I'm tired. So tired been on the road for what feels like days. Don't like this constant moving. Never have, but it wasn't this bad when I was younger. I'd sleep in the car while my parents drove. Now I don't have anybody to drive me. Two of them got too caught up in some of the darker parts of our world. A black library by our old house. They went in and never came out. They're why I can't sleep. Their book. What I learned without trying as I opened the dusty thing, sitting disused as I cleaned out what remained of the attic didn't even mean to, and yet, here we are. There have been no other cars for hours, this dark stretch of road, my truck, all I've known. As I drive along, a halo of red and blue neon forms in my windshield, a bastion in the dark, a tiny diner. I'm not hungry, I'm not thirsty, just tired, but all the same I take the exit as it comes up, pulling into the parking lot between a beat up jalopy and a truck that looks a lot like mine. I hardly feel the cold outside. I hardly feel anything. It's like being trapped in someone else's body, and things don't feel like they fit right on my muscles anymore. The diner's just as cold as the outdoors and hardly more inviting. The distressed red pleather of a bunch of boots that should have been trashed years ago. Dirty tables. Floors buffed into a mockery of cleanliness. Empty but for one man in a heavy coat in one corner, and a waitress in the other. The man is standing. The waitress is also standing. They look like prize fighters about to square off, or they would if they were looking at each other. Instead, I can't see the man's face for his collar and hat, and the woman is looking at me. Seat, sir? I nod. Rough weather out, she says, trying to smile as I take my seat. I can tell I look terrible. Do you know a place where I can get some shut-eye? I ask, almost without realizing it. I can't sleep, but maybe I can still try. Not a motel for miles. You can sleep at your table if you want, though. You don't even have to order anything. Thank you. I set my head down on the table and my eyes don't shut. That black knowledge slithered its way from those stained pages and into my brain, and now grips my eyelids, forcing them wide. The diner is sideways. I'm like this for a few minutes. Then there's someone else standing sideways, in front of me. That man in that coat. His face is a dark red mass. Sleep deprivation. Tired, buddy? I nod. The table is cold against my numb face. I think we can help each other. He reaches toward my face, laying a hand upon my cheek. There is a flicker of feeling, of warmth, that cuts through the fog that swallowed up my head for days. As he withdraws his hand, I see a strip of ragged flesh in it which he brings to his face. When he lifts his hand again, the flesh is gone. Thanks, buddy. May I take the rest? I nod. The table is cold against my face, and as I finish nodding, he turns my head roughly and grabs it, pulling away another strip of red. His feeling, the tiredness, becomes more pronounced. He doesn't ask anymore, just takes. Each time his hand comes down, a little part of me leaves. But at that point, I don't much care. Take it all. I'd like to rest. The table is turned red, like the seats around us. Time passes, feeling's gone, asleep. The man in the coat takes down his collar, and I see my face looking down at me, tired. He reaches down into my pocket, 
fishes out my keys. Rest easy, buddy, he says. Something else that I don't hear. He's gone. It all is. I like that story. I don't know. It's it's kind of creepy. But it's also like comforting in a way. Oh yeah, this. I can't help but feel as if I stand before the precipice of some terrible reality. Left one room only to come right back to it. Shame there's no place to go but straight ahead. I've hidden a few tools in this room in case the path ahead isn't what I hope it is. If they're not here anymore, then good news. The path ahead, at least immediately, is probably safe. Zero chance of any hostile entities. If they're still here, though, well, I hope they're useful to you. You're going to need all the help you can get. Fee. Okay, so that password is one, no, four, one, zero, two. This is the room we came from. Four, one, zero, two. We've given you chances. Ample warning. You proceed, we threaten. Continue on your current path, and they will find nothing left of your head. We swear it. For the last and final time, go back from whence you came. 